Hey guys, welcome to the second of many weeks of our Journal Thursdays. If you don't know, Journal Thursdays is when a new video we're putting out where we encourage you guys to write down your thoughts as you are reading and reflecting on what God is teaching you. And, you know, like on Sundays we hear the message, we're like, yeah, that was great. I cannot wait to apply this to my life. But, you know, we get home, we get busy. And that's okay, but this is a great practice that we can implement in our lives so that we don't forget, so that we can remember, so that we can reflect and respond to God's Word. And that is what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be doing the four R's, which are reflect, respond, read, and remember. Reflect, respond, read, and remember. And this is just a way for us to uh, reflect on what we learned on Sunday, to respond with that, respond to that with some questions and some practical applications in our life, and to prepare our hearts by reading the verses that we're going to read the next Sunday, and to just remember God through prayer and remember the blessings that He's given us in our lives. So, now we know what we're doing, let's get to it. Last week, Connor talked about Philippians 3, 1 through 8, and he talked about valuing a God above everything else everything else and he told us this very funny story about his friend who did not value this pair of shoes as much as he should have and it cost him if you remember it cost him quite a lot of money and you know sometimes we get so busy with life and we value good things but we put them before God and when we put those good things before God that's when it doesn't work out well so as we reflect on what Connor talked about on how we can value God above everything else, above um, our, our sports and our athletic abilities, I mean, go to that camp, improve, practice, but are you talking to your teammates about God are at that camp? Are you reading your Bible? Are you praying? As we pursue good grades, because it's good to have good grades, are we also spending time encouraging our friends in Christ? Are we also spending time in God's Word trying to understand what God has to say to us as much as we understand our schoolwork? So think about those things, reflect on those things, and ask yourself, what, is there anything in my life that I am valuing as more important than God? Is there anything in my life that I'm not willing to give up for God? And if there is something in your life that you are valuing above God, what can you do this week to place God above everything else? Now, this week, this coming Sunday, we are going to be going through Philippians 4, 1 through 9. So as you read Philippians 4, 1 through 9, and I encourage you to read it, to maybe even read it more than once, just respond to these couple of questions, you know. What do you learn about God in these verses? What can we learn about God? And what can we learn about us in these verses? And, you know, if you have any questions, write those down. It's okay to have questions. It's good to have questions. Um, so write those down. And maybe if they're not answered on Sunday, come and talk to one of us. We would be happy to sit down and answer your questions. And if we don't have the answers right away, we will help you find them. So. Now we can remember, we can pray to God and know that God is not deaf, that he hears us, that he loves us, that he wants to respond to us and listen to us. So we can pray to God and remember all the blessings that he's given us and because all, all, everything we have, all of the blessings in our life are from God because he loves us. So I encourage you guys, reflect on how you value God respond and apply some things in your life. Think about what you are putting before God and change it. And then also read Philippians 1 through 9 and remember God through prayer. I hope you guys have enjoyed this journal Thursday and um, we will see you next Thursday.